Hello everyone, today we will have another topic to discuss which is all about the functions. So this is the continuation of the topic relations and function. Let us define what is a function. A function is a relation f from a set A to set B if every element of set A has one and only one image in set B. So a function is a relation, yes, all functions are, re are relation class, such that each element of the domain is paired with exactly one element of the range. So don't forget that, huh? Each element of the domain is paired with exactly one element of the range. Actually, class, there is a simple method that we can use to determine if a relation is a function. This simple method is used only for when you graph the given function. So the simple method is what we call the vertical line test, which can help us to determine when a relation is a function. So you draw a vertical line at any place on the graph, then if it crosses more than one point of the graph, the relation is not a function. And if a, the vertical line test never crosses more than one point, which means the relation is a function. Okay, let's have an example uh, using the uh, no, vertical line test. So we have here a two graph. We will use the method vertical line test to, to test and to check whether the, the graph, the given graphs here are functions or not. So, anong gagawin kapag vertical line test? All we have to do is to draw a vertical line. And if that vertical line crosses one point only, then the graph is a function. But if the vertical line uh, passes two or more points from the graph, then the, uh, the graph is not, or the graph of the function is not a function. So as you can see here, meron na akong na-draw na vertical line test. So vertical line, I mean, where in isang point lang ang nadaanan ng line natin. So isa-isa lang. Kada mag-draw tayo ng line, isang point lang ang nadaanan, nadaanan niya sa graph. Therefore, the, the, this graph is a function. While this graph here, kung mapapansin nyo, two or more yung nadaanan niya na point, maski mag-drawing pa tayo ng isang line dyan. Ay, wala ng ink. Yan, maski mag-drawing pa tayo ng ibang line dyan, mapapakita natin na two or more points yung nadaanan ng vertical line natin. Therefore, this graph is not a function. So, that is a simple method to test whether a, fun, uh, whether a relation is a function or not when you want to graph the given function, okay? Okay, now let's move on on how to evaluate a function. So, let's have the evaluating function. So, all we have to do here, class, is that we only substitute the value of x to the given function, okay? Let's say we have the given function f of x is equal to 2x minus 3. Okay. Actually, we can transform this using the equation, mathematical equation 1 is equal to 2x minus 3. Ganyan, ganyan, yan. But since we are talking about function, so we, we change the y into f of x. So f of x is equal to 2x minus 3, wherein we will evaluate the given function of f of 2, f of negative 1, and f of 5. Okay, tatlo. So, let's have letter A, f of 2. So, that is f of 2 is equal to 2x minus 3. So, that is 2 times 2 minus 3, so 4 minus 3, that is 1. So, f of 2 is equal to 1. Next, letter B, we have f of negative 1. So, that is 2x minus 3. 
So, that is 2 times negative 1 minus 3. That is negative 2 minus 3. That will give us negative 5. And the last one we have seen that is f of 5 is equal to 2x minus 3. So, 2 times 5, that k uh, minus 3, that is 10 minus 3, that will give us 7. So, f of negative 1, then f of 5. Okay. So, ganyan lang kasimple when we evaluate function class. All we have to do is to substitute the given value of x to the given function. So, these are the value of x that are given. And we substituted these 2, negative 1, and 5 to the value of x of the given function. So, the important here is that you need to recall the operations of integers. So, kailangan nyo i-recall yung operations on integers kasi yun yung pinaka-basic foundation on how you easily solve or evaluate function. Okay, now, so let's have the operations of function. So, let's have first, let's have the two operations of function, which is the addition and subtraction. So, simple lang ang gagawin natin dito, class. All we have to do is to add the two given functions, okay? So, let's say we have the function f of x and the function g of x. So, we add or subtract the two given functions. So, when we have addition, so we add that is f of x plus g of x. And for subtraction, that is f of x minus g of x. For all, x is an element of the domain. Okay, so let's have an example in here. Ayan. So, given the two functions, which is f of x is equal to 3x plus 1, and g of x is equal to x squared minus 5. So, when we add the two given function, that is f plus g of x, the quantity g of x is equal to f of x plus g of x. So, copy the given function f of x, that is 3x plus 1. Then, g of x, that is x squared minus 5. Then, kung may mga exponent kayo nakikita, you arrange the um, terms uh, from highest exponent to lowest. So, meron tayong x squared dito, kaya nauna kong nilagay si x squared. Plus, tapos 3x, then copy the constant number which is 1 and negative 5. So, x squared plus 3x now, 1 minus 5, that is negative 4. So, the, uh, the answer for the addition of the two function is x squared plus 3x minus 4. Ganyan lang siya class. Next, let's have the subtraction naman. So, the quantity f minus g of x, that is f of x minus g of x. Then, copy the given function again. So, 3x plus 1 minus x squared minus 5. So, uh, mas magandang maglagay ka ng parenthesis to separate the two given function para hindi ka malito later, lalo na subtraction ito. Kasi for a subtraction, we need to change a... Uh, change the sign of the subtrahend and proceed to addition. So, this is the subtrahend. So, that will, be, uh, since the sign of the x squared here is positive, we will change it, that will become negative. And the sign of uh, 5 here is negative, we will change here, that will become positive na. So, addition na yung operation natin dito. Okay, so, since the sign of... And we arrange again for highest exponent to lowest. So, that is negative x squared kasi negative si ano dito. Negative yung sign ni x squared dito plus 3x plus copy the constant 1 and 5. So, that will give us negative x squared plus 3x plus 6. Ayan. To, uh, you don't need to, ano, to multiply negative 1 here just to make this um, positive as it is na ganyan na. So, the answer is negative x squared plus 3x plus 6. Ayan. So, yun nga. In here, class, uh, evaluating functions and operations of function, you need to familiarize yourself about the operations of integers. Most especially about on how to add um, different signs of numbers and how to subtract also. 
Okay, so we have now the last three operations, which is the multiplication by scalar, multiplication, and with the division. So for the multiplication by scalar class, all we have to do is to multiply the value of a to the given function. Yan. So magmumultiply ta lang tayo ng value ng a sa mismong given function. While for multiplication, uh, two given function is here. Uh, and we, we need two given function here wherein we will multiply that two given function. So let's say we have the function g and the function f, I mean the function f and the function g. So that is uh, the multiplication of the two function that is f of x times g of x. So magmumultiply tayo dito ng dalawang function. And for the division naman, magdi-divide lang naman tayo. Parang yung mga numbers na we add number, subtract, divide, o multiply, pinalitan lang yung numbers doon ng function mismo. Okay, we have uh, f of x divided by g of x such that uh, g of x is not equal to 0. So, dapat ang g of x natin ay hindi siya equal to 0. Why? Because it will give us an undefined answer. So, dapat si g of x natin ay hindi siya equal to 0. Okay? So, let's have an example. Okay. So, let's have an example in here. Same function ang ginamit ko. So, we have 3x plus 1 and x squared minus 5. f of x and g of x. So, for the multiplication of f of x and g of x, that is 3x plus 1 times is x squared minus 5. So, you can use the FOIL method here class wherein the first First term, outer term, inner term, and last term. So, pag first term, yung first term natin, that is 3x times x squared, that will give us 3x cubed. So, you add the exponent. So, exponent ito is 1. So, 1 plus 2, that will give us 3. Outer is yung nasa labas. Ano yung nasa labas? Itong 3x, tsaka itong 5. Labas. So, 3x times negative 5, that will give us negative 15x. And inner, yung nasa loob naman, so 1 times x squared. So 1 times x squared is x squared. Then the last term is yung 1 and negative 5. So 1 times negative 5, that will give us negative 5. Then we arrange now our exponents, our terms, so that will give us 3x cubed plus x squared minus 15x minus 5. Or you can also, kung hindi kayo familiar sa FOIL method, pwedeng long method yung ganito. So, 3x plus 1 tapos x squared minus 5. Yan. So, para nagmumultiply ka lang din ng 2 digits or 3, 3 digits number. So, 3, 2x squared times 3x. So, 3x cubed. x squared times 1 that is plus x squared, tapos, and negative 5 times 3x is negative 15. So, hindi mo dapat itapat sa x squared kasi hindi siya kaparehas. Tapos, minus 5. Kaya, parehas pa lang din yung lalabas na sagot. Ayan, mula, kulang na tayo ng space kasi, ayan. So, kapag division naman is, magdi-divide lang din tayo. So, 3x plus 1, yung f of x natin is 3x plus 1 over x squared minus 5. So, yan na ba yung sagot, ma'am? Yes, yan na yung sagot kasi we cannot simplify this anymore. Hindi na natin pwedeng isimplify yan. Unless, kung may, may pwede ka tayong i-cancel, wala naman. So, x is, wherein x is not equal to positive and negative squared of 5. Bakit? Kasi kapag positive and negative squared of 5, ang value ng x natin magbibigay siya ng undefined na answer. Okay? And the last Example, let A is equal to 2. So, nagbigay siya ng value ng A. So, what is A f of x daw? So, that is A f of x is equal to 2 times 3x plus 1. So, distribute 2 times 3 is 3x. 2 times 1 is 2. So, that is 6x plus 2. Reminder lang class dun sa division. Baka sa tingin nyo, eh, puro pag division na i-substitute lang yung value ng function, wala nang pwedeng, wala nang pwedeng magalaw, eh, dun na lang yung sagot. No. Let's say we have uh, two, two given function here. 
So, f of x is equal to x squared plus 10x plus 25. Tapos, g of x is equal to x plus 5. So, if we get the division of the function f of x and g of x, so, per, ganyan. So, that will give us x squared plus 10x plus 25 all over x plus 5. So, baka isipin nyo hanggang dyan na lang. So, you think class, you observe carefully the two given function kung may connection sila. So, in here, this one, pwede kasi natin isimplify to ng x plus 5 times x plus 5. So, we factor out this one. So, kung ba ito, pag mamultiply natin, babalik din tayo dito class. So, over x plus 5. Ayan. So, pwede, may pwede tayong makancel dyan. Ito at saka ito. Kaya, ang magiging sagot na natin ay x plus 5. Ganyan. So, hindi po lahat class ha. Hindi po lahat. May mga pwede tayong i-simplify. Okay? So, yan lang. Yan yung... Uh, gusto ko lang tandaan nyo when it comes to division of function. Ayan. So, for your drill class, please answer this one. Okay? So, we have two given function. f of x is equal to x squared plus 5x plus 6. Then, g of x is equal to x plus 3. So, you solve these four problems here. The addition, subtraction, multiplication, and division. Kung mapapansin nyo, merong value ng x dito. Okay? That is... 3 and negative 2. So, kung nakuha nyo na yung parang pinaka final answer nyo, you change the value, you substitute now the value of x kagaya, kagaya nung evaluating function. So, this, this, these two problems here are combination of operations and function and applying on how to evaluate a function. Okay? So, this is your answer for your first drill on the evaluating of function. So, a is negative 3, b is 4 over 7, and c is undefined. And for the operations of function, so this is also the answer, 36x squared plus 4x plus 3, 36 and x plus 2. So, check your work kung saan kayo nagkamali, okay? That's all for the topic about functions, how to evaluate function, how to test a function, uh, how to test if the relation is a function, and what uh, the application of operations of function. So thank you for watching and listening. Bye bye and God bless everyone.